Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Anglers Inn International at Lake El Salto. I am Mike Escamilla, I'll be your host this week, and I'm sure all of you are wondering why you are deep in the heart of Mexico. First off, I want to say congratulations. You've all been handpicked by Hummingbird and Minn Kota to participate in the first ever One Boat Challenge here at what is called the Premier Bass Lake in North America. Over the next few days, you'll be split up into four teams. We'll be testing your fishing skills, also your ability to work the water with Hummingbird and Minn Kota technologies. On top of that, besides bragging rights, the winning team will win $10,000 to give to a fishing charity of their choice. Woo! Pretty rad, right? Pretty sweet? Nice. Okay. First off, let me introduce you to your teams. We got Seth Funt, a swordfish and sailfish angler from Palm Beach, Florida. He'll be accompanied by Charlie Breitenbach, a fly fisherman from Panama City Beach. Next up, we got Mike Roy, a striper slayer from Old Saybrook, Connecticut. And with him, our youngest competitor, Tyler Anderson, bass fisherman and YouTube sensation out of Austin, Texas. Next up, we got Cameron Black, a salmon guide from Woodland, Washington, along with another salmon guide, Ashley Nicole Lewis, also known as Bad Ash. Our final team knows what competing is all about. Let me introduce former Chicago Bears lineman, Willie Young from Riviera Beach, Florida, and his teammate, professional Olympic snowboarder and six times X Games medalist, Louis Vito. Now, if that doesn't ring a bell, you might recognize this fleet-footed little ball of sunshine <laughs> from a show we like to call Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> Now, you probably noticed there are no boats and four teams. Right now, you all be fishing on a brand new Vexus boat outfitted with a state-of-the-art one boat network. Check it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Save the best for last. Who's driving those? <laughs> what, are they, what are they doing? Altrex. That's sick. Captain like Altrex. That. Yeah two Hummingbird Solix fish finders, a Minn Kota Altrex trolling motor, two Minn Kota Talon shallow water anchors to give you everything you need to locate, navigate, and stay on fish. Hooking them, well, that's up to you. It is the first day, so I'm gonna keep it simple. Catch the most fish, you get a steak dinner. Catch the least fish, you're sleeping outside. Sleeping with the fishes. Ooh. Have you slept There's a outside lot of bugs before? In here. Have you slept outside before? How about that? So again, oh, yeah. welcome to the first one boat challenge. Good luck, and let's get fishing. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta got that one. Doesn't even need a driver, yeah. so we're yeah. just gonna kick back, drink some cold beverages, and catch some big mouth yeah. bass. If I was worried about anybody, you'd be the athletes. I think Willie? especially. Well, yeah. of course, Willie, because he's a big man and he's got a strong I'm worried about there. Willie coming to you know, I've seen Willie catch fish without a rod before. Texas versus Florida. No competition. These are Florida bass. It's bass, but yeah. we're from Salmon Land. Right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Right? Uno, dos, tres, levado! Go! Let's go, baby. Imagine like the face of the moon. When you find those beds, oftentimes tilapia won't be far and bass need bass the tilapia to eat. Tilapia, yeah. Look at them. Oh my Wait, goodness. We got a fish right there? Yeah. Dude. They're like at one o'clock and two o'clock. Oh, oh, I got them. I got them. You got them? I got them for you. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're on the board. We are winning right now. In for bait. Look at these are fish. These are fish along that bank right there, off to our right. There it is. You sure? Holy oh, no, no, cow. No, 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 no. Go. <laughs> a girl. Oh! Yeah. Look at this thing. <laughs> Okay. There we go. The heck with this, we're out of here. I think that's number two. That's number Let's two. go. Let's go. Don't even show them. I could get into this bass stuff. There you go. This just spot lock is just keeping us right here in the wind. That's awesome. Oh, you got one, you like got right one, you there? got one, you Like got right there? Like get right it, there? A little more drag, a little more drag. Pick. Fish. You got one? Key is to let them go nice and gentle. Key is, of course, you got to show off the camera. Hi, mom at home. That's three, right? How many y'all got? Zero. No, I just saw you catch one. What? Bunch of liars. We start catching fish and you guys come over here. Yeah, you're fishing our history right now. And you're gonna be history soon. 
Mm, that's a good one, Mike. You got him. You like that? The smack talk is awesome. It's the best part of it. This is a sport that's revolved around having fun. Hey, I think if you can catch one fish, you might be able to eat it tonight when you're sleeping outside. If I catch fish faster than you, that says something. <laughs> winners focus on winners, losers focus on winners. I have that hanging up in my bathroom just to let you know in the mirror. Yes, sir. You got one? There we go. You're this kid carrying on. How do you like them apples? This is a Granny Smith. That's a jazz. He's a Yankee, son. He don't know any better. Oh! That one count? <laughs> yes! There we go. Six. Just slip him right over. Just slip him right on. Start reeling. Start reeling. Just slip him right in. There you go. There he is. Oh, heads up. <laughs> you just nailed me with your fish. Well, at least it's going to be a nice night outside. <laughs> I'm be sleeping outside next to that donkey. I'm going to be sweating my b off if I'm sleeping outside. Oh, yes. That's some good stuff right there, let me tell you folks. Nice one. We had a game plan. We did. Our yeah. game plan went right down the toilet. <laughs> stinking it up right now, just stinking it up real bad. But that's OK. I feel like the Patriots right now. During I feel the, like the Patriots. You know, we just need to make a few modifications. We need to go to a spot where we're confident in. I saw Floyd Mayville the one time lose a round. Came out smelling like a rose. Let's go back over and have a look at that with the 360 side imaging and see if we can see some bass on that tree. We got 35 minutes. Time to get on some fish right here. Mr. Anderson, AKA the Matrix Fisherman, AKA. Let's go. I'm gonna try to spot lock right here into this little cove, okay? Go ahead, hold this up. Let's pick a few. It's difficult to drive in the wind and everything that's going on. You just hit that button and boom, the boat just stops exactly where you want it to. There you go. Good Dude, job. Good job. Good job. Good job. This. Beautiful. We're in full chaos mode right now. Just go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him. Look at that, dude, these are all like nice quality fish. Four fish and seven casts and everything changes. Oh, it's the world's it biggest bass, but it, it counts. counts. Five minutes. I wish we had everyone's five biggest fish. You and I would be slapping each other in the face with steak tonight. There you go. Fish. So you can fish. see all the fish individually fish. right here we're trying to catch. Two minutes left, come there on, bud. Get... One just tried to come up and eat this worm out of the other one's mouth. Oh, oh, oh easy on the Yeah. Good job. Oh, 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 oh my wow. goodness. That's an El Salto special. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Four pounders, one after another. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, Cam. Yes, it's the last cast. Yeah, you got it. One minute left, one minute fish. <laughs> all right. Well, bro, <laughs> we... photo finish, bro. <laughs> Brought it in the end, bro. You ready to sleep outside? Oh. We'll see how everybody else did back at the lodge. All right, teams, you guys ready for the results? In the white boat, Louie and Willie <laughs> coming up just a little bit short with eight fish. We don't have a losing mentality, you know? We adapt, we overcome, and we make the best of our situation, so. It's a fresh slate tomorrow. In the red boat, we got Seth and Charlie, 18 fish. We learned a lot from the end of the day, so tomorrow we're gonna move forward on that and try to continue that pattern on. Ashley and Cameron in the green boat, with a staggering 22 fish. And that first little area, I think we rallied maybe 10 or a dozen fish off that, and we could just sit there with the spot lock. We're using the 360, we knew our distances. To be able to have brand new electronics that you've not used before, and then to just like be able to have success like that, that's a game changer, and they better watch out tomorrow. In the blue boat, Tyler and Michael. 38 fish. Let's go. Let's go. So, <laughs> and for the record, I did OK. I did my fair share. Oh, yeah, and what, what would be the fair share of eight? Half of it. For each. Yeah. Oh, at least team. You know. It's a team it's effort. A team effort. That's great. Team oriented sport. Nobody even came close. We smoked them. So much, we got bass rash. You guys can head up, get your steak dinners. Yeah, let's do it. And you guys, well, you'll be coming with me. Thank you. Thank Have fun tonight. Don't touch me. Do not touch me right now. You can touch me. Look, I kind of lied. We didn't have any tents. Maybe couldn't find any. So let me show you new digs. Viva La Mexico. <laughs> Did you want some help? I'm glad you. I'm glad you finally cracked the smile. All right, get in there. No, no, come on. Get your whole. You've got like half your ass in it. Come on. We actually have the best view now, and the sunrise in the morning is great. A so. Good night. How do I explain this to my kids? Do we not have like any cover? Isn't it like rain in the forecast? 
seems like things went pretty good today. They caught some fish, they had some fun, they all got dialed in on their one boat network, but today was just a warm up. Tomorrow is when it gets serious. One team will be eliminated. That's right, one team will go home. But we do have a surprise guest coming, so stay tuned to see who takes the lead, who goes home empty handed on your next episode of One Boat Challenge.